Okay, this is a quick video to demonstrate how one can use Adobe Target to deploy uh, Adobe Experience Manager or throttle Adobe Experience Manager or leverage Adobe Target to test any CMS against another CMS, if you will. I'm going to use this website as my playground here. So miatest.com is a website I put together that is just simply used to test different things. I'm big into scuba diving, so hence all the scuba diving related content. Um, and let's assume that this website is hosted by Tridian or hosted by some other content management uh, system or platform. And in, for our test design, Adobe Experience Manager is going to be the, the test variant or the alternative experience, if you will. Now, there's, there's several different ways that one could go about incorporating this type of test. You've got lots of client-side opportunities, uh, but for all intents and purposes, it's, it's more ideal to do this uh, with the server-side capabilities of Adobe Target. So uh, Adobe has uh, developers, adobetarget.com. You can leverage uh, multiple SDKs. They got Node.js. Uh, as well as the Java SDK, which uh, Mia Prova's uh, done a lot of work with this. Um, but for, for today, I'm going to use the delivery API, which is right here, and, and what that looks like. So the, the main thing that you're going to need uh, or to hand off to your developers or application architects is, is your client code. Um, that's available within Adobe Target. So we go to the administration section. Uh, we go to implementation. And you can see there's your client code. So there's my client code for my Adobe Target account. So once you have this information, you, you give this to your uh, application architects or developers, you're going to want to um, uh, construct a, a request like this. So here you can see uh, I'm actually uh, making a call here. So there's my Adobe Target client code. And I'm passing in the URL. So this is, this is the request that would take place uh, behind the scenes here. So on this website, uh, before it gets rendered to the end, uh, end user, it gets uh, this call happens, if you will. And you can see here, this is the name of the inbox. Uh, I'm calling it AEM just for, for this particular purposes. All of this would get dynamically constructed because obviously, you know, the screen with screen high here. Here you can pass in additional parameters. Uh, for, for the rules or what have you. And so th this is what it looks like. So I the, triggered the request here. Um, you can see here we've got my inbox name. You've got the Adobe Target ID because it's the first time uh, session. It's, it's incorporating the uh, session value as, as the ID. Um, and here you can see the response from a test that I set up. I said, okay, redirect false, domain miatest.com. Another very cool thing, uh, you get all the response tokens, uh, which is basically brings all of the profile attributes associated with this ID uh, to your server as well. Now, what this looks like in Adobe Target looks like this. So here's the activity that I used. So it's form-based, so I'm not using the visual editor, obviously, because uh, this type of, this test is taking place at the server side. So here's my inbox call that, that was being made, and if, if you recall, that's where the inbox is loaded uh, right here within here. And then with the test setup, uh, let's look at experience A, the control. So we can leave this to be default content, but just to make it easier, uh, use the JSON data, uh, redirect equals false, domain, MIA test. So this, this would represent staying on your current content management platform. Uh, when Adobe Target responds with this, that's when you can um, use server-side redirect. And in this case, WW1 would represent AEM. And so the test control, I've got, you can adjust your throttling as you wish here. So if you wanted to roll this out to maybe, let's say 10%, and then 50% would stay in the control. Uh, essentially, this would be 95% of traffic because this is a 50% uh, split. And so this is a very nice way that you can go about throttling in um, Adobe Experience Manager. All goes well, then you can kind of switch this to a zero and then a hundred as you wish or create a copy as a, as a new test because it's never really a good idea to adjust um, in, in test experience uh, throttling. You'd want to do it at the activity level up here. And so this would allow a hundred percent of all traffic to get in and then you'd have a 50-50 split between Tridian and Adobe Experience Manager. Now, one nuance here that I want to cover is from a, an analysis perspective. So you can con configure A for T, 
but because because the visitor ID service is, is typically client side, Adobe Analytics is typically client side. Uh, there is a a known feature, if you will, where first time first time session visitors uh, won't be defined server side. So you can't really leverage A for T for your analysis because of um, this nuance. Uh, the experience platform. Uh, the consolidation of uh, of all of these different tools uh, will we'll solve for that. But in the current state, you'd have to use a different dimension. So rather than use Adobe Target Experience and, and Activity, what you would do is you would use probably either URL or page name uh, as the dimension and then incorporate any of your metrics or what have you. So in this particular instance, www2 would be your um, uh, Adobe Experience Manager, if you will. So that's a quick and easy way. I will highlight one other cool thing here to, just to show you how this comes together. So these are the different requests. Uh, if I were to substitute this and just change these values, this basically redefines the visitor. And you can see here I got false. Let me change this to 888, just something different. There we go, got true. So you can kind of see how the different visitors and how the different responses come together. So thank you.